Has nothing created something special? Hey, Mark from The Spark here. Hey friends, welcome to another video. And in this video, I'm gonna be unboxing and taking a look at and having a listen to the Ear Open earbuds, headphones from nothing. Uh, the first set of earphones that I have uh, reviewed. Um, Okay, so let's crack open the box, see what it's like. I'll give you some stats. I may even go for a run in these things to test the unique selling point of these particular headphones and I'll see how they are. I'll give you my subjective view of how it sounds and what have you afterwards because hearing something, almost like looking at something, can be quite subjective. All right, let's crack these things open. All right, that's quite neat. Okay. And we've got a little pull tab here. Okay, anything else in the box? Anything, has this come off? Oh, oh dear. There we go. Okay, what do we get in here? Uh, some instructions. Nothing X app. There you go, scan QR code to install. I have already installed the app. So we will have a look at that as well. Do we get anything else in here? Any kind of charging cable? Yes, we do. Nice, neat little cable here. And it's very short. <laughs> there you go. Um, probably double the size of the little container we get here. Um, but thankfully it is USB-C to USB-C. There we go. And it's got a neat little writing of nothing on them. There we are. So uh, feels solid and uh, yeah, charges via USB-C. Ah, not doing very well in opening these things. Well, this box is smaller than what I kind of perceived it to be on the, uh, on the video that I watched from nothing. Looks like it's magnetically attached, a little magnetic clasp here, so it's quite nice. And obviously this is the charging box here, you charge it via USB-C there. And these things are smaller than what I kind of perceive them to be as well. So obviously you can see the design is quite a lot different. I mean the box is, is very slim <laughs> compared to um, AirPods Pro. Uh, and yeah, it's, it's a, it, it is a very unique design uh, compared to most of the stuff that's coming out of manufacturers these days. Now, what's special about these is that they don't go in your ear. So there's no silicon tip to kind of fit into your ear. Um, I believe, yeah, so they don't have like noise canceling stuff. So it's like a little weighted bit at the end. And obviously, it cups around the ear there, like that, and then that bit kind of sits there. Now, let me take my glasses off. The unique thing about these is that they're, they're called ear open because they don't sit in your ear. Um, it entirely uh, enables you to kind of stay in touch with the world as you're listening to whatever you're listening to on these things. That's kind of like the whole point of them, really. And so they will sit kind of happily round the ear. There we go. That, they slot on really well. They immediately feel very comfortable. Um, I guess they could work with, with glasses, let's just see. Yeah, that, they seem okay, we'll just take those off for now. Um, and, and they sit essentially on the canal of, just out, just kind of on the ear canal. So they don't go in, uh, they don't block out uh, sound necessarily. Um, so they, that's why they're called ear open. So you, you can perceive what's going on around you. One of the things that interested me about these was because the ear uh, Epos Pro, a really good kind of when I'm working on stuff and I want to be like if I'm out in a coffee shop or an office space or whatever, and I really want to be kind of zoned in on what I'm doing. They're not great for me for running, particularly my right ear. For some reason, the, the left is really well fitting. Um, but the right one, after a little while of running, it kind of jogs itself a little bit loose and I feel like I'm forever 
kind of putting it back in. I'm not necessarily, there is, but there's just a perception of it. And as I'm running, I kind of hear this, it's almost like the silicon tip part of it here is, is kind of sucking, as it's, as it's kind of jogging loose, it's, it's sucking on my ear almost. And there's that this sound. Um, that's a bit weird to explain, but it's quite off-putting when you are running and you just hear this sound in this ear. Um, makes me want to take it out and just into this one, which which isn't good. Um, so I'm hoping these solve that problem because they just sit over the ear. They enable me to stay in contact with the world around me, which obviously if you're out running, um, particularly the later it gets, that's important, isn't it? Or if you're running against busy roads or something like that, it's important for you to be able to know what's coming. So they they fit really comfortably well. Um, let's get these things switched on and paired up. While it's doing that, I'll fill you in on some of the stats. Um, so they've got that kind of transparent look, which nothing as a company has. Um, and it, for those of you who really know your stuff, apparently they, they are equipped with 14.2 millimeter titanium coated drivers, which should deliver a strong performance uh, with an emphasis on base. Within the within the algorithm, we've got something called uh, the Nothing Base Enhance Algorithm. Not a big bassy person myself, I just want quality sound. I listen to a lot of podcasts and what have you. Um, they support 5.3 Bluetooth, so dual device pairing, uh, and obviously they're compatible with this Nothing X app, which um, provides customable, customizable uh, EQ profiles firmware updates, control tweaks, things like that. Battery life, each earbud has eight hour playback from a full charge and the charging case extends that playtime to 30 hours. If you charge them for just 10 minutes on here, you get an extra two hours of music, which is pretty good. Um, they are IP54 rated for dust and uh, splash resistance, which makes them suitable for those outdoor activities, which is obviously what I'm going to be using them for. And they've also got pinch controls as well. Um, and AI powered clear voice tech uh, for calls. So there we are. Now we seem to be having some issues here pairing them. So maybe I need to look at the instructions um, and put them in pairing mode somehow. Open the charging case. There we go. That solved that problem, didn't it? So it's immediately wanting to be found. There we go. So let's see how long this process takes. Not too long. Um, so single pinch, play and pause, answer or hang up calls. Um, double pinch, skip forward, decline incoming call. Uh, triple pinch, skip back, and say how much. What, skip back completely or skip back 30 seconds? Don't know, we'll find out. Um, pinch and hold, the right one to volume up, pinch and hold the left one, volume down. And apparently that's it, that's all we need. There is a firmware date available. Of course there is. Isn't there always a firmware date available on stuff that have just been released? Done. Okay, it took a little bit longer than I expected. Okay, what have we got on the app? Okay, we've got equalizer, so balanced, um, pretty much bass mid trebles, more bass, obviously gonna give you more bass, focus for voice, so maybe you're listening to a podcast, that might be what you need, uh, more treble, uh, and then you can customize it yourself, pulling and prodding this way. Um, advanced, next level, sound lovers and audio files. This one's for you, introducing advanced equalizer. So, okay, so it's, it's just a larger um, equalizer. It gives you, you can granularly control what you really, how you really want to listen to stuff. Um, so pretty good. Okay, there we are, so advanced. So you can really, really nail in how you like your sound. Well, I'm just gonna go for simple and just gonna go for balanced. And there we are, and then controls. So it just reminds you of the controls that this thing can do. And you can customize them. Okay, so you can kind of change things around. Yeah, so you can control what each one does to your heart's content. But we'll leave everything on there for now. Anything else in here? Find my earbuds. So we'll take it out of the box and we'll play. Can you hear that? Not that loud. Let's play this one as well. Play. Little bird, that little insect chirping. 
All right, we'll stop then. Okay, low lag mode, minimize latency for gaming experience. So if you are playing a game and you're listening to these three headphones, you can switch this on and you won't see much of a, a difference between what you're seeing to what you're hearing, which is quite good. And dual connection, um, there we are. Okay, I don't think there's much more to be had on here. So if you've got other, other things from um, nothing, you'll be able to connect them all into the app here and obviously you can create an account. All right, let's get these things on and just let's have a, an initial listen, shall we? They, they are very comfortable. I've, I've got to say they, they, you know, just sitting here, they seem all right. Um, it's kind of, I feel like that's at the top of my, uh, top of kind of, I, want it, I feel like I feel like I want it to be a little bit lower, but you know, maybe that's just me uh, and, and it's not how I, I, I should be wearing them and nothing know what they're doing. So we'll, we'll just do that. And then let's close that. Let's play some music. Got my son's playlist here that it did for me. Sorry that you can't hear what I am listening to. But I'll tell you that I'll put some music on to see, pretend you can pretend you're listening to what I'm listening to, because I'll get copyrighted if I play what I'm listening to. It's really clear. And while I'm speaking, obviously because they're open ear, I don't have that kind of weird muffly thing where you can begin to hear yourself in your head. <laughs> they don't stop automatically when you take them off. So there's no kind of sensor like that. So I'm playing Hotel California. I can still hear myself really well. Maybe they're a smidgen quiet. So again, when I go out running, I'll be interesting to see how much of this I'll still be able to hear. But as for the quality of, of sound, not being an audio file, that's really nice. It's really nice. Give me my bass. Yeah, that definitely works. More treble. Definitely voice it. Yeah. That balance works really well. Okay, I'm just gonna listen to a podcast. All right, yep, yeah, it, it is, it, it, it feels really nice. For me, the quality seems really good. Um, I'll just put it back onto balanced. Everything's coming through, the mid, the bass, uh, the treble. Okay, let's get outside, get running, and we'll see how they feel, because that's kind of what I bought them for. Like I said, they're a kind of a replacement to, to this. They're really light. I don't, how light are they? Are they? I mean, I guess it's all subjective. All right, earbud, eight grams. Uh, and the case, 63 grams. That weighs nothing. I barely notice these are on. So I'm really, am I still, am I shouting? Because the music's playing. I barely notice these are on. Um, so I've got a really good feeling about this running. Let's, let's go do that. Okay, two things. You can't laugh at the headband. I sweat a lot and it's really comfortable. Secondly, I've got them in. Let's go do this. Okay, first thoughts as I'm running here against this reasonably busy road here. And that, that's really, it's really noisy road and because of these are open ears, it's not really. I'm, I'm struggling to hear the music. Podcasts were a little better because that's kind of like a singular thing I can drill down and focus in on. Um, I imagine as I move into the park here, it will become better to listen to the music. But against a busy road, not great. I mean, you could whack the equalizer settings all the way up, I guess, to increase the volume. Um, and that's probably going to have to be something that you do to make it a bit satisfactory. And also, in terms of the music and being out and about, I have put the enhanced bass on. It's again, because of the design. Okay, a little bit more into the run now. And yeah, I'm in the park now, so things are a bit quieter. I'm still feeling they, they could have just been a little bit louder. I've had to bump up the equaliser settings just to give me a bit more oomph. Um, 
maybe because I'm used to that deathly silence of the ANC that you get on the uh, AirPods Pro. Um, so we're kind of getting used to of listening to the outside world, which is a good thing. Um, there's no way you're going to damage your ears. By the way, earlier on, did I say left ear or right ear when I said this ear is the one where things seem to fall out? If I said right, it's definitely my left ear. Um, I don't feel like these things are going to fall out at all. I feel very secure. Um, maybe habit means I keep fiddling with this, this ear here. Um, but so far, so good. I guess I got to get used to that sound not being as kind of loud in my ear. And again, I could bump the equalizers up a little bit more if I wanted to, to really kind of dial it into what I like. But yeah, I can't feel them. They're really light, they're really good. Nicely balanced, nicely weighted. I tell you what, I'll see you at the end. I better get finishing this 5K. Whew. Yeah, not a great time. Let's talk about these things here. Oh. Okay, so I think um, that the, the quietness of them is probably down to the fact that I'm so used to having my ears sealed with the AirPods Pro. And then the more I ran, the more I got used to the volume. Um, and so actually it's not as bad as I thought when I initially started wearing them outside. And I, I definitely, again, because of the open air design, would pump up the bass. Like I say, I'm not a bass kind of loving person. I tend, tend not to mess around with that, but I did turn the bass on. I did pump up the equalizer a little bit more in that direction as well. So yeah, the open air design, I think you need that, that bass uh, on it. On saying that, you know, sound is, is subjective. Um, my ears may be a weird shape. Maybe they do need to go a little bit lower. Maybe they would do on your ears. Um, maybe the kind of the way I hear isn't as good as yours. So therefore you wouldn't need to turn up the volume or anything like that. They're certainly exceedingly comfortable and all the way through this run, um, I've I barely noticed that, noticed that they were there. There's some, I feel like there's jiggling in this ear, but again, that's probably kind of some weird memory from how my AirPods Pro affect my, my ear. Um, all in all, I think when you're inside and in the quiet, I think the open air design um, is, is absolutely, is terrific. It's the music inside sounded great clear and again you can dial it in using the equalizer on the app um, and really 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 get it to how you want it to be when you're out and about you do need to get used to that open ear design where you're hearing everything around you um, but again that's a, a useful thing to have like I said it, you know the later you run in the day the more you want to be aware of things or maybe like with me I run sometimes along the canal and and what have you and it's a very popular route for for cyclists and Sometimes I'm, I'm sort of in my own world, particularly if I do, I'm running my own, I my earpods, you know, I don't hear the little bell tinkling. Um, if they do choose to tinkle it, bikers, tinkle your bell. So I think these are worth the money uh, that, I, that I paid for them, that they haven't been sent to me. This isn't a sponsored video. Um, these are my genuine thoughts, unencumbered by any bias. Um, I, think, I think you would appreciate these headphones, particularly if you want to be active with them as as well um i'm curious as well with the game lag mode switched on and i imagine it's switched off by default because maybe the processing power to kind of get that lag as, as to as, as little as possible probably eats up the battery a bit train going past may or may not be able to hear that on these um yeah maybe it eats up the battery a bit so that's why it's off by default i'm curious to know like because i edit my videos using my airpods and I, I always feel like there's probably a little bit of sound syncing issue. So I sometimes have to drag the timeline across to match up the, the sound of the video. I wonder whether the game lag mode with this will help with that perceived delay that I have. I don't know. Okay, do you own a pair of nothing ear buds headphone thing? I don't really know what you call them. Like, are they buds? Well, I guess they're open ear, ear headphones. Um, have you got a pair? What do you think? Um, you're gonna buy a pair? Uh, what advice would you give in terms, if you're an audiophile, what advice would you give uh, in terms of the equalizer and getting the best sound out of something like this? I'd love to hear from you. Okay, in the meantime, go for a run. <laughs>